What's up, guys? So, a couple weeks ago, ended up buying a torch from Snap On. They got a couple different kinds. I got them both. So, we're going to be playing with some fire today. We got the torch 300 and the torch 400. Or the torch 400 and the torch 300. Dive down and show you guys some comparisons on the two. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Okie dokie. So, in the old office, the tool testing office. But as you can see, first glance, these things look real similar. You guys can see in the background, that was my some of my little haul this Thursday. But um, you got the Torch 300. I mean, they're basically sitting on the same body, same grip. It's got the rubberized grip. You got the little uh, adjust it, temperature adjustment. It's got the lock on the back, trigger in the front. Um, obviously, you can see the tips of them are different. You know, the 400's got a bigger tip. But, uh, you know, basically the difference in these, obviously, is the output, the uh, flame output. You know, this one, this one I bought a few weeks back. This one I had just gotten. You can see the box back there. That's the box that comes in. But, uh, I mean, you could definitely see a difference. This one's more along the lines of, uh, you know, soldering your little butt connectors and, and solder jobs and things like that. Um, this one's just too hot. I mean, this one's more for, you know, heating up those uh, small fasteners and... Uh, you know things like that where you need more extreme heat maybe heating a brake caliper up or something um you know it, it, it puts out heat like that because uh i mean it's definitely got a bigger flame compared to the 300 i mean you guys could see the difference there and even if you turn them down you know it's still even its lowest setting it's still bigger than you can see the blue it's still bigger and then you turn this one down you could actually hear the difference in them um, this one's actually ready to go out here but you get nice little adjustment on them but you could definitely see this one's probably lets more air in i mean you could probably modify this one to uh blow more fire but that's pretty much it. You got the locking. Obviously, you turn them off, just hit the locks. They go out. You got to kind of be careful with these things because they take a while to try to die out before the butane runs out. You can see that sucker still lit there. It went out. This one's out, but pretty good. Um, you know, start these things off. Just hold the lock button, pull the trigger, let go of the lock, and then let go of the trigger, and they'll stay on continuous. And then, obviously, if you just want it on, then off, you would hold both and then just let both of them go, it'll go off. It just takes a while to go off, so you guys gotta be careful. Don't go throwing this down on a customer's seat. You'll definitely burn their seat or blow it out. <sighs> so, fill through the bottom here. You can see it's got like a little groove here, maybe for gription or so it holds its traction on its footprint, but definitely like it. You can see the gauge. I think I went over that with you guys in a tool haul but very similar in size, shape, function, except this one's more extreme heat. I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend using the Torch 400, you know, doing normal small solder jobs. You know, definitely leave it to uh, the Torch 300. This is more for bolts. And then if you compare it to the other Torch, my old Power Probe Torch I use, you know, there's, you know I like it. I've used this for years. It's just, it seems like there's just so many buttons on it. I mean, a lock, and then you got the gauge. You gotta make sure it's unlocked, then turn it up. It starts first, then you hit it. I mean, that tor that's even smaller than even the Torch 300. You can see the difference there. A little bit smaller. This is still a great torch though, but I had this out to kind of show you guys a comparison here. And then when you want to turn it off, you just turn this one down. It goes out faster than these do. So. But that's the difference in them. Everything else is pretty similar. 
you can definitely see the difference in the tip pretty much that's the only uh that's the only difference and obviously the part numbers but yeah guys just figure give you a rundown on that definitely some nice torches i think this one came in at about 90 bucks this one is about 70 bucks so not much of a difference but i figure you know if you guys are doing extreme heat stuff and not so much solder jobs or heating you know obviously you could get away with uh you know heating a shrink tube with this it's just you know it's just extreme heat you'd have to kind of go really fast keep it moving keep it far away um but it, more for solder jobs it'll be the torch 300 that's what they intended it for and then this one's just for bigger solder jobs so those are the two comparisons and obviously to, to the power probe the tiny one that's the small one now Figure I'd give you guys a quick rundown on those torches. They seem great. Like I said, I, I had the Torch 400 for a few weeks now. You know, it definitely throws the flame. It definitely, definitely a decent amount of flame. Um, it, I guess it's up to preference. You know, it's, if you guys are doing more smaller solder jobs, get the Torch 300. Just be careful with the flame staying on. That's my only gripe on I mean, The flame stays on way too long after you turn them off. You know, until the butane dissipates and all that stuff. Same with the Torch 400. It just stays on way too long after you turn them off it you know i guess that whatever's left in the chamber has to run out still so but just a quick one for you guys like comment subscribe if you haven't catch you guys in the next one signing out